Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to walk you through my favorite base products for special events. I'm gonna start with a little bit of skincare that I used the night before, the morning of, and then I'm gonna take you through all my favorite products that I know are going to make my skin look absolutely flawless. Nothing's gonna fade throughout the night, nothing is going to settle into fine lines, and everything is just going to remain looking the exact same way that I applied it hours and hours into the evening. So if you're interested to see what those products are, then go ahead and keep on watching. So the first thing that you wanna make sure of is that your skin is super hydrated, and in order to achieve that from the evening before, I go in with a super thick night cream. This one in particular is by Patchology. I love their skincare. First of all, it smells amazing. It's great for my sensitive skin, and I just love the way that the products work. They actually work. A lot of skincare products to me are a gimmick. I don't really see results, but with these products, I definitely do. This is the Restoring Night Cloud Mask, and it's just a super thick whipped moisturizer. It doesn't make my skin oily. I have combination skin. This just really hydrates the skin because if your skin is dehydrated, you will see that when makeup is over top. And that's what's gonna make the makeup settle into all of your fine lines. It's because not necessarily that your skin is dry, but it's dehydrated. So moving on to the morning of, I like to do a very gentle exfoliator just to get off any dead skin or dry patches that I might have on my skin. This exfoliator right here is probably my new favorite skincare product just because I love the smell of rose and this has such a beautiful smell of rose. It's not like a true rose water scent that some people find too sickly sweet. It just smells beautiful like roses. This is the Lancome Rose Sugar Scrub. It's super gentle. I use a very small amount of it all over the skin and I just gently, gently use circular motions and I get rid of whatever problem areas that have a little bit of a dry patch. It does a great job and it leaves your skin super hydrated after. So next up we have primers and primers are an extremely important step, especially for me, somebody who has combination skin and dehydrated cheeks. I wanna make sure that I am getting a nice layer of moisture as well as kind of combating the areas that I know get oily throughout the night. The one primer that I have been using for months now that has absolutely changed my makeup game is the Guerlain L'Or primer. This is the one that has gold flakes in it. It's incredible. Not only does my makeup never settle into fine lines anymore at all, but it also does not move throughout the night. Like even in my T-zone, my nose area, it does not move, it does not start breaking up. This just makes my foundation look as beautiful as possible for as many hours as possible. I've used, um, tons of different foundations with this primer and each and every one of them has looked amazing. So I try to use this as little as possible because it is so expensive. So I do try to only use this for special events because I know that it's gonna do the best job out of all my primers, but it's definitely something that you wanna invest in, especially if it's an occasion like your wedding day. I definitely think that this primer is worth it. Then recently I've been trying out this primer by Givenchy. This is the Prism Primer. This is a mattifying primer. And I love it because it's not super thick and silicone based. It just kind of glides onto the skin and mattifies the area. Again, I use this as a second layer just around my nose area. The Guerlain one does a great job on its own, but if you want that second step to really make sure that nothing's going anywhere, then I recommend this base as well. Or if you just want something mattifying, this one's not gonna dry out your skin or get all pilly and weird when you put foundation over it. I know a lot of silicone primers kind of break up and come out of your pores as you're putting on foundation. This one does not do that because it's more of a, a liquid cream with, I don't know how to explain it, it's not liquid obviously because it's, you know, it's a base, it's, it's a cream, you're going to put it into your pores, but it disappears into your skin as if it were a liquid, like it no longer exists, it really does get absorbed into the skin, which I love. And I've seen the greatest difference between using this and that primer together. Oh my god, my foundation looks incredible for hours. So next up, I'm gonna do a little bit of color correcting. In my demo video, I forgot to put this on underneath my foundation, but if I do notice that there are any dark spots, hyperpigmentation, a really red irritated spot on my face, then I will go in with this Bobbi Brown Peach Corrector. This is the light peach shade. I'll take a little bit of it and I'm just gonna dab it over those spots and I'm gonna add a little bit of a color correcting step underneath my foundation. That way I don't have to use so much foundation. What I do is I kind of just put the product on the skin. I don't really make sure to blend it out and make sure that you can't see the areas that it's starting and ending because I'm putting foundation on top. So I really wanna concentrate that product directly on the problem area without doing too heavy 
of a layer just because that means you don't have to worry about your foundation not covering up those really problematic areas. For foundation for special events or just in general, I can't live without this one. This is the YSL Touche Clot Radiance Awakening Foundation. This is in the shade BD40. I also do have shade BD60 for when I'm really tan. This one's my in-between shade and I just love this foundation. I've been using it for years now. I absolutely love it. It has a very natural finish to the skin. It's not too dewy where you're going to look oily and it's not too matte where you're going to look flat. It's a great in between and I like that you can kind of manipulate it with the powders that you're going to use to set it later to make it look a little bit more matte if you want or a little bit more dewy if you prefer that as well. It's a great foundation. It does not flash back with photography even though it is an SPF 22 but it is absolutely incredible. It lasts a super long time. has a great undertone for somebody who has all of skin like I do and it's just a beautiful foundation I also love the smell I love the way it applies it's super easy to blend out it's very buildable everything about this product is a plus for me so it is definitely my go-to number one foundation literally ever for events Moving on to concealer, I've really been absolutely loving this one by Laura Mercier. This is the Flawless Fusion Concealer in the shade 3W. I use this on its own to just spot conceal different areas of the face when I'm not wearing any makeup, or I'll use it just as a concealer underneath the eyes to brighten. This one is my favorite over the Tarte Shape Tape, over the Urban Decay Naked Skin, over any concealer that I've used in the past. I just really, really love it. I don't think that it is too heavy. It never settles into fine lines. It never fades. It never breaks up. I just, I really love this concealer. This is one of three tubes that I have gone through, and I just really absolutely love it. So this is one that I've been using nonstop. To set my concealer just underneath my eyes in my T-zone, so on my nose, in my smile lines, and just here in my forehead, I love to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Original Powder. This one has been a staple in my collection for years. I cannot do my makeup without it. It is that incredible. I just think that it does a great job of mattifying the skin without being too drying, and it does a great job of kind of blurring the skin as well. It's just a beautiful beautiful powder. It's very finely milled and it never looks heavy. So after I've set those areas, I go in with a little bit of cream bronzer. This is an unnecessary step, but if you want to bring your makeup that one step further, then I recommend cream contouring before you go in with a powder bronzer. This one is the Soleil Tan de Chanel Cream Bronzer and it is incredible. This is my second jar. You need so little. A small amount really does go a long way and it adds such a beautiful sun-kissed glow to the skin. I highly recommend this product. It's in one of my top 10 products ever. I absolutely love it and I think that it does a great job of just adding a little bit more chisel to the cheekbones without looking too heavy or fake. It's a very natural, healthy sculpt to the cheeks. Now, to set the rest of the skin, I want to add a little bit of radiance. I don't want to mattify my whole base, so I go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Powder. This one is relatively new to the market. I've been using it for a few months since it came out. I actually was able to go to the launch party, which was amazing. It was such a great experience. But this product is amazing. You literally need the smallest amount. And when I mean the smallest amount, I mean take whatever's left over in the lid, dip your brush in there, then tap off a bunch of excess and just very lightly sweep and do a light dusting on the perimeter of the face. It gives your skin such a beautiful glow and your skin is going to stay glowing without looking oily at all throughout the night. It is still not going to let any of the natural oils of your skin come peek out and start making your makeup break up or anything like that. It just does a beautiful job of setting your skin while also making it look look very radiant and beautiful. So I think that this is a stunning powder, especially for bridal makeup. So next up we're going to move into bronzer. You can use any bronzers. I know bronzers are pretty personal amongst people. I don't think that there's any like, oh, you have to use this particular bronzer bronzer. So today I'm using this one by Givenchy. This is in the shade number three, amber, and it's just a beautiful powder. I like this one because it does have a little bit more of an orange undertone to it. So it's going to add a beautiful, natural, sun-kissed tan glow to the skin if you are a little bit more tan and olive and undertone like me. Because naturally when I am in the sun, my skin pulls a little bit of red. You want to use something that has a little bit of a red-orange undertone to look like a natural tan. So that's why I like to use this one first to bronze the skin. And and then if you want to add a little bit of a contouring natural shadow to the skin, then I will use something like the Laura Mercier Soleil Matte Bronzing Powder in shade number one. You guys can see this is a lot more cool toned. So I just use a little bit of this just underneath the cheekbones. And if I want to contour my nose to add a little bit more of a natural shadow, not so much to give warmth to the skin. 
Next to highlight, again, a very personal step. Everybody has their favorite highlighter. I personally have been loving this one by Glam Glow. This is the Glow Palette, and I've been mixing these two shades right here. This has to be, hands down, one of my favorite highlighter formulas ever because it just adds such a beautiful glow to the skin without adding a look of powder to the skin. It just really melts in and looks like a natural glow, like I didn't even put anything on my cheeks, which I prefer that look. I don't like anything that's going to be detectable. I like it to just kind of look like a glow from within without adding anything to the cheeks. I don't want to see any sparkles. I don't want to see any glitter. I don't want to see any detection of a highlight on the cheek. And this does a great job at that. It's just such a beautiful, natural glow to the cheeks. And as a last step, I definitely want to lock everything in with a bulletproof setting spray. This one is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray for oil control. It is oil free. I love this setting spray. It does a great job of making my makeup last throughout the night. I definitely don't try to go out without setting my face because I know that a lot of my products will do a great job of prolonging the wear of my makeup on their own, but it doesn't hurt to just add that one last extra step at the end to make sure that it's really not gonna move anywhere. So I do three sprays of this at the end of my makeup routine and I love it. It has been repackaged since I bought this, so the bottle will look a little bit different if you are gonna be looking for it online now, but this is definitely a very important last step for me. So that is it for my go-to top favorite products, especially for special events. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what my base products are. If you did enjoy this, you found it helpful, informative, you learned something, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.